Hey, yo, real kids. They say Dante's talking shit about you yet again. Talking shit about me? You talking about Dante from the Dante uh, Show Network? That Dante? Nah, bro. Can't be that Dante. Because him and I sit down and we talked over the phone and we ironed out all our details. He even helped me with my channel. I guess the proof is in the pudding. I just don't get it. He's a heavy hitter in this game. You know what I mean? He got over 100,000 subs. Here I am with less than 6,000 subs and he keeps going in on me on little old kids. Okay, well, I guess that's the case, so it's up. And you know when it's up, it's motherfucking stuck. Yo, once again, it's on. Back at you one more again, Real Kens TV and the House Light Kitchen Sinks. You know, I had a totally different direction I was going to go in today. A totally different video that I was going to bring to you all. But it's been brought to my attention. That this Dante character, the Dante Show Network, is still talking trash about Real Ken's TV. And I don't really understand because we didn't talk. We didn't, I thought we ironed out everything. But yet he's still showing, you know, he's he's throwing shots, seemingly, at Real Ken's. Now, why would a guy that has over 100,000 subs be worried about a guy that has less than 6,000 subs? I haven't done anything but shout the Dante Show Network out in a lot of my videos. But you know what? Since he wants to go there, we're going to go there. So I'm going to show you all a little clip of how Dante really, really was in prison. Yeah, you know I mean, because I was locked up with him during one of his bids. I'm going to show you how he really was in prison. So y'all check this out. Tell us how you cut him. Yeah, I ain't cut him with a knife, man. But you told me last night you cut the dude. With these, I cut him. I am a chain belt in Kung Fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. technique. You do that, a quarter of blood will drop out of a person's body. Tell how you beat on a cop. Wasn't no cop, man. It was cops. Plural. Nine, ten cops. Beat the shit out of ten cops and had to change my whole strategy around. Yo, when they brought you in here and booked you, you was crying like a pussy. Yeah. That's because it's when the cops fell, he threw tear gas in my face. And that's the kind of shit they use on crowds, man. I still walk in here like a man, so get out of my face, all right? I mean, you, you beating up on a man, you putting a man in a hospital, how come I don't see no marks on you? Yeah. Because I'm a karate man, all right? Karate man bruise on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. But you don't know that because you're a big Barry White looking motherfucker. Now get off my back, all right? Wish my bitches hurry up and get here. I ain't got no time to be sitting inside this sad with you. Where is your bitches, Mr. Big Time Pimp? Yeah. Didn't I tell you that the phone in my limousine is busted and I can't get in contact with my bitches? Yeah, the phone in the limo is busted. What are you, ignorant? Hey, look, sit down, all right? It ain't cool being no jive turkey. So close to Thanksgiving. <laughs> you boys don't know what you're doing, I can see that already. Do you know who you're fucking with? Do you know who you're fucking with? Ah, back the fuck up. Back up. You know who you're fucking with? In cell number four on the ninth floor? Billy Ray Valentine? Yes. Move it. You made bail. I did? Nah, I didn't want to go there. I definitely didn't want to go there. But this guy, you know... At some point, enough is enough. You know, you get on here and you tell these miraculous stories. You get on here and you talk about, you know, you had goons in prison, but you constantly contradict yourself. Because if you got goons in prison, all the things that you said that you went and did, you had to collect. You had to fight. You had to get down. You, your goons do all of that. See, your stories just don't make sense, man. You know, and it's not even, it's, it's gotten to the point to where, okay, here and there, you know, a couple outrageous, miraculous stories or what have you. But come on, uh, Tay Don. So now it's back to Tay Don. Because I had stopped. You told me that you didn't really appreciate me calling you uh, Tay Don. Your name is Don Tay. Okay, cool. I respected that. 
my audience may still call you Tay Don. And even when they did, I would come back and be like, hey, nah, it's Dante now. We done squashed it. We done talked it out. He's even helped me with my channel, you know. But this guy's still jumping online, talking trash about real kins. And acting as though he don't know me. So he's trying to make it as though, oh, this guy's stalking me. I don't know this guy. I don't know this fool. You all just seen the video, right? That's clearly Tate on. Clearly Tate on. So how would I have the footage? How would I know to play this footage? How would I have access to this footage if I didn't know Tate on? I'm not trying to know you like that. Okay, that's cool. If we don't know each other, we don't know each other. I'm not, I'm not uh, playing your military mind games as you like to speak. But I just know that as an individual that's done over 10 years in the Kentucky Department of Corrections. Oh, yes. And I can show verification. <laughs> I can show receipts. Can you? Can you show receipts, Tadon? Because I definitely can. So you like to play the big money game, 100000 well, I ain't got 100000 But I think I can come up with 10. I think I can come up with 10. So I tell you what. I tell you what, Tadon. You put up 10, I put up 10, and I can show my receipts to what I did over 10 years in the Kentucky Department of Corrections, and you show your receipts. <laughs> Since all these stories that you keep coming up with, I mean, you really, really do the most. Now, last time I said you do the most, you say, oh, it's just because you're not doing enough. Whatever you said. No, 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 no. It sounds good to your audience. I know you have some very loyal followers, some loyal, you know, uh, uh, subscribers, and it's cool. I respect that. But Tadon, you wasn't pushing that blade in there like it, man. Immediate violence and all. Maybe some of the guys around you, you wasn't like it, man. But you're leading the people to believe that you was that guy in prison. <laughs> you leading the people to believe that people actually lined up outside of your cell. With three to five items every week, and they had to pay you to be on your yard. And these fools believe it. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but stupid is as stupid does. So if you all really believe that, if you really believe that the lions, tigers, and bears, gorillas was lining up outside of Tadon's cell to hand him over three to five items every single week, you really believe that? Something's vastly wrong with you and something's vastly wrong with your mind. I understand that these prison stories get a little interesting, but I'm going to tell you, man, there's nothing fun about prison. There's nothing uh, neat, uh, significant. There's nothing positive about prison whatsoever, whatsoever, other than the fact of some people go in and they're able to change their life, turn their lives around and come out and do something positive. There's a success story every once in a while. But nine times out of ten, you go into prison, you meet more people that are doing the exact same thing that you're doing. You meet the plug, and you come home, and you're doing the exact same thing. But this guy's just really making it like he runs, and he ran every single prison yard. Dude, you got gorillas in prison, man. You got crips. You got bloods. You got vice lords. You got, you know what I'm saying, all sort of... Uh, uh, of GDs, you got all sort of gangs. You know what I mean? And you got cliques. You got cities. So tell me how you was running a complete yard. The MS-13s, the Mexicans, how was you running a complete yard to where they was coming to you and had to get permission? Hey, uh, uh, Dante, you know, we want this to go down, but we got to get clearance from you. Come on, man. Like you've just gone too far. People let you get away with it for a long time, Tadon. For a long time, people... They, they tune into your channel just for uh, um, entertainment purposes. But you can't be silly enough to believe these miraculous stories, man. Ten years in, ten years plus in the Department of Corrections. And a lot of the things that you're speaking of, I just never seen, never heard of. Now, being that I did over ten years in the Department of Corrections, there's nothing cute about that. There's nothing uh, funny about it. There's nothing um, good about that. You know, I was a knucklehead. I soon got myself together and I understood that I can't be out here committing crimes. I can't be out here just doing the things that I'm not supposed to do because I get to the point of where I'm tired of doing time. I thought you and I was past this. You continue to drop these videos. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. You can drop these videos. I Listen, get your money, man. You're an entertainer. That's what you are. You're an entertainer. 
See, I was a real inmate. I was a real convict. And again, there's nothing cute about that. So we can put up 10 racks. I think I can, you know, come up with 10 racks. And let's put our prison files up for the people. Let's make a poll. We put our prison rack, our prison, uh, you know, history, if you will, up for the people. And we'll see who's real and who wasn't real. You want to do that, Tadon? I got 10 racks, man. I can get 10 racks, man. Let's do that. Put our prison files side by side. I know you real good with the computers. You behind the computer. You like a computer uh, uh, nerd. You real good with the keyboards. You real good. So you can give this image. You go out there and, and you run and you work out and you, you do your videos with no shirt on. So the people really look at you like, man, this guy's really about that. Ah, oh, man, he's not about that. This guy's a, a Steve Jobs, a Bill Gates type dude. He's just good with computers and he, he has storylines that he comes up with. But you ain't never really been in there with them goons. You ain't never really been in there with them lions, tigers, and bears, Taydon. Oh, yeah. I got documentation. On me, I do. I'm telling the people that I just want to meet you. Yeah, you've been in there, you know what I'm saying, one time that I've known. So I guess I can take that back. So let's rewind it. Next, time, next thing I know, you'll be taking my rewind. Like your cousin, uh, Hassan Campbell. Yeah, I see he be, he done stole my rewind thing, but his audience is so much bigger than mine. Ain't nothing I can say. But just know that he got that from real kins. And that's your bloodline, that's your family. I get it. The bottom line is this. You're going to tell your stories. Tell your stories, man. Just stay in your lane. Leave my name out of your mouth. I don't understand. Now, all of a sudden, you want to fight Fleece Johnson? You want to fight Fleece Johnson, man? Fleece Johnson is like 64, 65 years old. You're 36, 37, but you want to fight Fleece Johnson? <laughs> well, I tell you what, man. I tell you what. Because I've been, I just went back to the gym last week anyway. What you want to fight Fleece Johnson for? Come see me, big boy. <laughs> I'll see you. You got Kentucky ties. You always in Kentucky. Come see me. You ain't got to worry about, you ain't got to fight uh, uh, 60. He's. A senior citizen, damn near. But you want to fight Fleece Johnson? I see you. Now, I ain't got 100 Gs. I ain't got 100 Gs for you. And if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, Dante. I see you. For some reason, Fleece can't make the, the venue, the ticket, or whatever. Guess what? You got an immediate step in. And I definitely will be getting in shape. I'm not that far out of shape. I only need to drop about 15 pounds. Let's not get it twisted, man. I used to press pause 350 on the bench, man. On that on that flat bench, press pause. Not bounce it off my chest, none of that. Press pause. Push. Dead. Yeah, that's how it goes down in the weight pal. And my hands wasn't too bad before I started lifting weights. I see you, uh, Tay-9. I definitely will. Not trying to rain on uh, Fleece's parade, but for the, whatever reason that Fleece can't handle the situation, I definitely can, big boy. So what you want to do? You know, I do have a problem with you lying in your videos. I do have 100,000 subs less than what you have. Congratulations to you, though. You know, I have gotten a little out of shape over the years, as I've mentioned, but I'm back in that gym as of last week. I don't make the money that you make. And congratulations to you. Salute to you. At least for now. I do kind of talk with a little uh, country twang about myself. Pause. So here you go, Tadon. <laughs> now tell the people something they don't know about me. Big boy.